Hey YouTube, Vega Power 454 here. Today we're going to shoot a four pound shockwave exploding rifle target. Shockwave, baby. Four pounder. We got this one set up as an air burst. It's about a three foot air burst. We got a camera set up right there. That's about two feet. And we got a 55 gallon drum. That's about a foot and a half away. And we got a piece of wood on there. And we got a bucket at five feet. So we can see if we can get a better angle with that. So you can see about how far it's away. You can see that a little better, I guess. All right. This is gonna be a loud one, so let's see what happens. Let's get a little better view from back farther, so you can see the whole area. You got a stick across there, supporting the charge. All right. All right, here's the rifle we're gonna shoot that charge with. It used to be a Mosin Nagant 9130. Now it's the Mosin Nagant tactical carbine. I cut the barrel myself down to 20 and a half inches and I spray painted it. You got olive on the barrel and the receiver and the magazine. Bolt handle, I painted that black. And the stock is khaki. All right, we're gonna shoot this now. Let's see what happens. Well, here we go. Four pounds of shockwave. And fire in the hole. Nice blast, nice blast. Well, we still got a little bit of smoke. All right, let's take a walk up and see the damage. Well, I can see the whole ground is kind of crumbled up a little bit all around that blast area. The whole ground's kind of chewed up. <laughs> the five gallon bucket, <laughs> it's cratered in. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> yep. There's the camera. I don't know if it really did anything to that. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> Didn't completely destroy it, but put that back on top of there. Yeah, kind of like shrapnel on there. It looks like kind of blew the back part off. Blew that front piece off, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's a 55 gallon drum. Looks like it dented that in too. Knocked it over. Oh yeah. Kind of put a little dent in it right there. 
So yeah, it's got a crater in it too. Can you see that? Oh yeah. Pretty cool. What else do we got? Oh, there's the, there's the handle. <laughs> handle to the five gallon metal container. And the piece that holds it on. Move that off. <laughs> that string. And here's the plastic container, plastic bucket. <clears throat> kind of blew that up a little bit. And that was at five feet. And there's a chunk over here. Right there. Blew that over there. That was probably a good blast. There's another little chunk right there, plastic. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Oh, what do we got there? Stuck on the tires. <laughs> a piece of plastic bag. <laughs> Stuck right to a tire. That's funny. What else we got? Another little chunk of plastic down there. And duct tape. We had it wrapped with, wrapped with duct tape. So there's no air gap. That was a pretty cool blast right there. Oh, what is that? Another piece. That piece of plastic too. Oh yeah, piece of plastic. That was pretty cool. Well, there you have it. I almost forgot the chunk of wood we had sitting on the 55 gallon drum. I just found it over here, from over there. And it blew that chunk off too. Let's set that up here so you can get a better look at it. Oh yeah, that bigger one was out of here. That was the bigger end, smaller end. Let's set this back up here. Kind of had it set up like that. That blew that right off. There you have it again.